terrifying moments during a service, a worship service at a mosque in Patterson. Video shows the moment one man got up from prayers and rushed to the front of the room and stabbed the imam. The religious leader still hospitalized tonight. So what does this mean for the rest of Ramadan services at that mosque? Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles has the story from Patterson. I accept that charge. Sharif Zorba speaking through a Turkish interpreter during a Passaic County virtual court arraignment for attempted murder Monday afternoon. Prosecutors say this is the 32 year old in surveillance video leaping up from the carpet where he had been praying and off camera stabbing 65 year old Imam Saeed El Nakib repeatedly. I didn't do anything. The congregants were on the floor praying. No one could see him. Because of their heroic actions, definitely saved other victims from being stabbed. Four cops, six, one, two. And this is cell phone video of the heroic actions of the congregants, holding down the suspect until he was taken into custody. At a press conference Monday morning at the Omar Mosque on Getty Avenue in Patterson, where it happened, the attack only being referred to as a cowardly act. So there will be a, an, an enhanced marked presence and there, there will also be plainclothes officers that will be enhancing efforts. Security is being stepped up at all the other mosques in the city throughout Ramadan, including less than a mile away at the Mevlana Mosque on Sussex Street. We recognize him. He was coming to our ma mosque uh, since Ramadan started, like, like this past 15 days. He was praying with, uh, you know, with us. We spoke to the Mevlana Mosque president over the phone, who says he believes Zorba prayed with them Saturday night, just before the pre-dawn attack. He was normal, like he'd come and pray and go. Zorba was held without bail and will appear in court again this Thursday. The imam is still in the hospital, but is expected to make a full recovery.